Back in the kitchen, Nigel's going first, and he's putting together a layer of thinly sliced rhubarb topped with chilled custard crumble and a bowl of passion fruit ice and foam. So it's, it's rhubarb and custard, but just done, you know, in, in a different presentation. English combinations it ends, so you can't, there's no question that the food's not British, for sure. Oh, no, British. You know, and obviously the, uh, the way it's been put out, it's very, very modern. So what was wrong with the old dish? Not modern enough. Happy with the flavour of it, though, was you all? I was happy with the flavour, but it, it, it was, uh, to be brutally honest, Glenn, it was more of a pub dish. I think it was, it was definitely the right decision to change it. He's using some acetate to keep the shape of the custard before he chills it. And he's not only poaching the rhubarb in ruby red orange juice, he's also glazing it with some of the liquid. Jason's intrigued. And, and the only thing you have to do, really, is, be, is just be very delicate when you're cooking it. You know, it's just so easy. Mm. But you have, you have to have that real sort of care about the cookery. And there's lots of evidence of that as Nigel carefully rolls the chilled custard in crumble. But the judges are waiting, so he needs to get on with it and plate up. He puts some passion fruit foam over the ice and the custard crumble across the rhubarb. It's ready, but because both the ice and custard are starting to melt, there's panic at the pass. OK, mate. We need to go very quickly with those. Absolutely stunning, that is, mate. Stunning. And these go alongside, yeah? I say put them there. Get them on the tray. Tight them. There you go. Tight them. One more. Thank you. Can you go with the tray. Any biscuit or anything? Well, put, one, no. one, put one rhubarb on it. One rhubarb on there. Let's go. 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 It is a lovely, lovely dish. It, rhubarb and custard, you know, it's very English, isn't it? It works well, it's light, you know, it, it ticks all the boxes. Well, he promised us a new pudding. Rhubarb and ice cream. And mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically rhubarb and custard. And crumbled topping. Well, I think it looks very nice. I think it, it, it tastes as it looks. It, it tastes nice. I think it's better than nice. I think, I have to say, I think very, it's very good. Well, well better than nice. There's a, a lovely softness to the rhubarb. And the, the, the custard is, you know, again, another textbook custard. And I'd love the crumble topping. I don't get the, this, this thing. Right. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why it's here. Why is it here? Why is it here? Because it's... Um, it's two puddings, really, isn't it? It's refreshing. I find it's refreshing. But the trouble with passion fruit is it's such a powerful flavour that it's almost daunting. Did you really enjoy going from one to the other? Because yeah, I, did. I didn't. I did. No, I did. I felt that, that uh, this was so overpowering. It muddles the flavours. I mean, it is, it's a good pudding. It's very well executed by a very good chef. I don't think it's gherkin material. I think it's a vast improvement on what he'd done before, though. So are Nigel's peers impressed? Look at this. It looks lovely, huh? Very, it was very... in garden. Oh, yeah, exactly. See, that works deliciously well. Passion is really quite kicking, I'm just about to say that. <laughs> it gets all your mm. saliva going ferociously in the mouth there. I don't need that, really. It's very well executed, very nice, but I don't see what that's got to do with that. No, I'm with you on that one. It tends to slightly overpower the beautifulness of the rhubarb. The rhubarb and the custard and the crumbles. Absolutely top notch. I think that should be the dish, really.